hello guys hope you all are doing well so today let's discuss about security policy uh, processing order in Palo Alto right so uh, first thing to discuss is why we need security policy uh, security policy is basically required to control the traffic flowing through the firewall so we can control the traffic coming into the firewall and going out of the firewall so basically this is the reason we create a security policy on the firewall then next thing is on Palo Alto firewall from where uh, you know from which place we can create a security policy so basically if uh, you are using a centralized management software called panorama you can create the security policy from panorama secondly you can create security policy locally on firewall right then next thing that we need to know is what type of security policies are there so basically uh, there are three types of policy pre policy post policy and default policy so these are the three types of policies that we can create on Palo Alto firewall now next thing is the way that we uh, do the policy on uh, Palo Alto firewall it varies if we create from panorama or locally from firewall so now let's discuss this when we create a policy from the panorama so there is two uh, there is two types of policies that we can create one is called shared policy so shared policy is the policy that gets pushed across all devices so it is like you know uh, global policies that we need on each and every firewall we create under shared policy then when it comes to shared policy there are also two types like shared pre policy shared post policy okay so these are the policies that we can create from panorama so this is the one of the type right so shared second one is device group concept so we will discuss about device group and uh, uh, on the tab topic later uh, later in the video series session so on the device group similarly we can create pre policy and post policy so these are the two ways from panorama we can create the policy so it can be under shared and it can be under device group right so now based of that let's look at how the policy order processing is done so first one that comes is shared pre policy then second one that comes is device group pre policy third 
third one that comes is local policy so local policy is basically the uh, policies that we create locally on firewall by you know uh, doing a uh, context to firewall from panorama or you can uh, locally log in and create this local policy so this is the one next we have is shared post policy and fifth one is device group post policy then last one we have is default policy so we can say like default policy is kind of a cleanup policy we can do policy order so for first one comes is like shared pre policy then it comes is device group pre policy then it comes like local policy then shared post device group and default policy okay so next thing that we will talk about is how is the default behavior of intra zone and inter zone so basically as uh, firewall is a zone based firewall uh, zone based also so there are two types of this thing uh, it's called inter inter zone and intra zone policy right so by default on palo alto traffic between the intra zone is allowed but you can change it and deny for in inter zone by default it is denied right similarly you can override and change it so that is one of the thing that uh, we need to know then uh, let's talk a little bit about best practice on now uh, you know where we need to create this policy and all so as per Palo Alto the best practice is to create a pre policy and uh, have it installed on firewall the only uh, problem with the pre policy would come into picture if like panorama server goes down right as pre policy will take precedence over local policy and the rules which are pushed by panorama would already be there we won't be able to modify any rule and if required we we want to modify we won't be able to do that as local would be lower in policy so in that case if there is a problem we can use actually post policy and in post policy as local policies would there be on the top and post policy would be on the down we can make certain changes when panorama goes down we can make changes on the local firewall and traffic would you know start flowing so that is one of the case when we can use post policy another thing is uh, if like uh, what if we like to uh, you know migrate the policies that are there on pre to post so it is not actually that straight 
to do this migration so for that we need to use uh, Palo Alto's migration tool to migrate this pre policy into post policy so uh, this is like a quick session on uh, security policy rules or ordering if you have any question please do comment i'll try to answer fine thanks for your time